Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And if you have a computer that has a MSI motherboard, one of the things that you need to check is your secure boot feature because it seems that for more than a year there has been a wrong setting and a wrong setup for secure boot on MSI computers. So first of all, what's secure boot? A lot of people say, well, it's not needed. It is. It prevents uh, unwanted malware from actually being able to boot up with your machine. And it does that by verifying signatures. So it makes sure that the only files that can boot up are signed, which makes them safe because they are signed by the manufacturers and by Microsoft. So that is a security feature. And of course, every computer has the ability to turn it off. I've heard a lot of you know people like, well, you know, it's, it's a way to prevent people from uh, using Linux or whatever. It isn't. You can turn it off. Uh, stop thinking there's always something wrong and always somebody trying to prevent Linux or something. It's a security feature, and it's a pretty good security feature too to prevent uh, malware from booting with the system. So in MSI computers that are enabled with secure boot, you might think, I'm safe. Well, you're not because the setting, and here's the image, and the UEFI firmware, the settings are set to always execute, which should not be the case. So when you go to the settings, advanced Windows OS config and secure boot image execution policy, it is able to execute anything. It doesn't matter if it's signed or not because always execute means we're not checking for any you know signed drivers or signed files. Just execute whatever's out there. So it makes you, of course, um, it gives you, uh, removes a, a sense of security, a, a part of the security of the Windows boot up system. So, you know, set this way, you could boot up Linux, you could boot up anything, but it's not the way it's meant to be if you're only running Windows. So you need to change that uh, in the UEFI firmware. And I have, of course, that's a little more ex uh, complicated. You need to check out, you know, the manufacturer, uh, how to access this and how to change the options in the uh, UEFI firmware, depending on your model. I will share one article because the article comes from uh, Neowin, uh, and the article of Neowin has the full motherboards that are actually affected by this wrong setting. So you'll be able to check out the full motherboard numbers and see if yours is affected. If it is, then uh, if you're only using Windows, then you uh, should go into the uh, UFI firmware and change that option so that it boots really with secure boot, not with always execute everything. So this was discovered by um, a um, security guy that um, was <laughs> looking around at you know different options and security features of, of uh, companies and so on. Uh, it's... Uh, a, a guy called David Potokis, and uh, he actually has discovered this flaw. So, um, of course, you can change it. Make sure that you have it um, not set as always execute and uh, check out the details or, or ask somebody that is you know comfortable going into UEFI firmware and uh, changing settings so that you are on secure boot and not on some weird, um, you know, um, no security boot up system, basically. So only MSI motorborns are affected by this from what we see. And uh, that is to check out. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.